All right, guys, this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install the Motorola Clock widget. Now, this works for the Galaxy S3. I don't know if it's going to work for um, any other device, okay? But this definitely works for the Galaxy S3. So, I'm going to show you guys how to install it because <coughs> I get a lot of hit, I get a lot of hit ups. Um, you know, people like, oh, you know, how do you, how do you get a clock like that or, you know, what's the name of that widget so i'm just going to cover it in this quick video showing you guys how to install it and i'm going to put the link in the description so you guys can get it from xda and you just download it move it to your sd card and uh after you follow the steps you'll see now the, i just flashed uh the new cm10 so i don't got it set up at all and my apps aren't installed yet or anything so this is just a stock fresh install of the cm10 10.1.0 stable build which i'm going to do a video on that uh this blue crop is going to be gone i'm going to have a theme it's going to be all crazy pimped out so this is what the video is about but you know i'm just explaining to you guys so you don't be like oh you got nothing on your s3 but nah just did a clean install so anyway you're going to download astro file manager so you just click on that let it load up hit it i accept this is the first one to show all the thing i'm gonna uncheck all of them because i don't have any of those i don't want them synced or whatever uh, you say continue all right and then you go to the location to where you have it in my case it'll be like in my files and then as you see you're gonna look for the razor m zip you just tap on that and you're gonna have in that folder you'll have all these um uh, zips okay what you guys want to do is click them it's going to download it yeah you might have to uh, enable um, unknown sources so just check that box it's okay all right so you just get back you just install it and it's going to take you it's going to show you the, cir the circles there that's the root. that's the widget right there so you just can install a little install like accept whatever <laughs> Okay, that's installed it back again. And you're just going to install all of these because that's part of the package that you have to have. Let's see. So let's just install that. And that's the other one. All right. Now when you went back, you're gonna you're gonna set as your default the home screen hit always. The only drawback about having this uh, widget, uh, you have to have the whole UI type deal. You can't use like Nova Launcher or anything like that. You have to have it um, strictly their launcher. That is the only drawback for me. It's not a big deal, but I'm just saying. So just hit on always, and this is how you. You know, that's how it looks. Alright. Shows your uh, toggles there when you slide it that way. You can add a blank page. To add more screens or whatever. Okay. So now let's add the widget. Go to widgets. And you guys will look for uh, circles. Hold it. And just drag it tap on that and there you guys go you just add your city and that is it you'll have the the rings notice how they flip these are the real ones these are not the, the fake ones you know you can they can get off the market like um what's that one called uh uh, Rings Digital, Rings Digital, and a couple other ones that imitate this. This is the real deal. So, you get the battery mod, flip it, it takes you to your battery percentage. You can have it set to your Texas, but I don't have it set that way. But you step on that, it'll show you your battery. Alright, so that was just it. Show you guys how to install that, uh, the clock widget. So, I don't get asked that a bunch of times. And I have the link in the description next to Alright, guys, I'm out. Peace.